You probably heard this before. You need to master HTML, JavaScript, and CSS to get a job. But actually, you don't. One of the biggest mistakes I see in aspiring developers making is thinking they need to know everything before applying. The truth is, landing a tech job isn't just about knowledge. It's about knowing when to stop learning and start applying. I'm going to share the counterintuitive approach that's helped me break into text after facing dozens of rejections and how this shift completely changed my career. This isn't just your typical coding videos filling with endless tutorial. Instead, I'm going to give you the insider's perspective on what actually matters in text interview, at least at the top tech companies, based on my real experience hiring and working with other engineers. And I'm not just speaking as a developer. I have been on both sides of the table. I know exactly what separate candidates from getting offers and those who don't. So let's start with the basics. What if I told you the most developers at top tech companies regularly Google's basic HTML tags? That is the first mindset shift you need. In my experience, you can gain a solid understanding of HTML in just two or three weeks of focused learnings. Instead of trying to memorize everything, focus on semantics HTMLs. This is critical for structures and accessibilities. At Microsoft, accessibility compliance was a huge priority, and this was one of the first things we checked in the code review. There is an even more important mindset shift of HTMLs that separates professional developers and amateur. Professional developers don't memorize every tag. They understand HTML purpose, structuring contents meaningfully. At Amazon, I saw senior developers regularly reference documentations. What matters wasn't what they memorized, but how they thought about structures and accessibility in their implementations. And that brings me to a key differentiator. When I was hiring a TikTok, the candidate who stood out wasn't just those who just memorized HTML syntax. It was those who understood how they use HTML choice impacts accessibility and SEO. If you can explain how proper HTML benefits users with disabilities or improve search engine rankings, you will immediately separate yourself from the other candidate. Before we moving on, I have the question for you all. What keeps you from applying to tech job right now? Drop a comment below. I will tell you if it's an actual a deal breaker for hiring managers based on my experience at top tech companies. Okay, now let's talk about CSS. Do you know that a specific CSS approach helps improve ads performance by 20% at TikTok? CSS might look simple, but this is one of the areas where many candidates overcomplicate things. First, focus on the core principles, the box model, flexbox, and grid. Understanding how element flows and response is far more important than memorizing every property. There is one non-negotiable CSS skills in today's text landscapes that I look for in every candidate, which is responsive designs. At TikTok, every interface needs to work seamlessly across device. Responsive design isn't optional anymore. I have seen candidates with strong coding skills get rejected because they could not properly implement mobile-first designs. If you master media queries and responsive layout, you will immediately stand out. And if you want to save hours of work while impressing interviewers, this will be the next tip for you. You need to leverage framework like Tailwinds or Bootstrap strategically. The best developers know when to use framework and when to write custom CSS. At Microsoft, we value candidates who understood this balance. It show good judgments in terms of efficiencies and customizations. Now we know about CSS. Next, we will move on to the next sections. If you could only focus on one programming language, it should be JavaScript. The JavaScript concepts that transformed my careers wasn't what you might expect. Let's start with the core JavaScript concept. You need to have a strong foundation. Variables, functions, arrays, objects, and DOM manipulations. 
but one concept that is crucial, especially in real-world applications. Do you know what? This is asynchronous programming. At Amazon, our notification systems rely on efficient async code. Understanding promise and async await will make your JavaScript skill far more valuable. But technical knowledge alone is not enough. How you debug your code matters just as much. Most developers rely on console lock, but that is just the beginning. When I worked at Microsoft, the best engineers knew how to systematically isolate bugs using browser dev tool, error tracking, and structured debugging technique. And then there is the framework questions. Do you need to know React, Vue.js, and Angular? Here is what actually matters. Understanding components, architectures, and state management. At TikTok, we didn't expect candidates to memorize every React hook, but we did expect them to grasp how modern front-end framework organized code effectively. But here is the real secret. Technical skills alone will not get you hired. The techniques that lands my first role at Microsoft have nothing to do with my coding skills. This is building your professional network. If you are waiting to feel ready before networking, you are making a mistake. Start connecting with people immediately. Join text meetup, participate in LinkedIn discussions, and reach out to engineers that draw you inspired too. My first tech role didn't come from a code application. Let's come from a connection, and this patterns repeatedly throughout my career. So, how did you actually get response? This is your skills in strategic networking. When I was job hunting, I used the Pacific Networking's approach that got me a 70% response rate. The key? Qualities over quantity. Instead of blasting out random messages, focus on building meaningful relationships. At Microsoft, some of the best engineers we hire come through employees' referral. Their connections could work for their work ethics and collaboration skill. But most people get networking completely wrong. This needs authentic engagement. Networking isn't about asking for jobs. This is about becoming a part of a community. Engage in conversations, share your learning journeys, and become known for adding value. This is what helped me transition between companies and industries without even applying blindly. So now we come to the conclusions. What is enough in this case? So how do you know when you are ready to apply? Here is my definitions of enough based on my experience hiring at the top companies. First, if you can build a functional project independently. Second, you can explain your code and choice clearly. You understand best practice for performance and accessibility. Last but not least, you have the systems for continuous learning. The truth is, you will never feel 100% ready. The real test isn't whether you know everything, it is whether you can learn and solve problems. If you are serious about landing a tech job, you need to check out LeetCodeMate. I built these platforms after reviewing thousands of applications at TikTok and Amazon. LeetCodeMate doesn't just give you problems to solve, this provides step-by-step -step guide for each liquid problems that you usually is working on. It's also having the patterns or the keywords that you have to notice in every coding problems. Moreover, it's also have the trackers for you to track how many problems you did in this week and what areas that you need to improve to perform better in your technical interviews. Plus, it's also have the behaviors questions for you to try on and practice your behaviors interview as well. This is the resource I wish I had when I was job hunting, and this is already helping other developers landing roles at Meta, Bloomberg, or Uber. Click on the links below to try LiquidMate today and start tuning your coding knowledge into job offers. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will continue giving advice for you to landing the jobs at top tech companies.